Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer, and we had an interesting question that was posted on one of our YouTube videos, I don't know, recently, um, and it was very specific in asking, what do you do for horror fusions or horror fusionalis? And the question kind of came on a video, I think, about strabismus and, you know, if the person's had um, surgery and what happens if they get intractable or you cannot fix it, double vision or diplopia. So I want to talk about that today, but before I do, let me tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website and you can either click on the schedule a consultation or you can fill out a questionnaire. Now, horror fusions or horror fusionalis is a condition in which we are concerned that for instance, a person would have double vision that would never go away no matter what you did. And there is lots of information in um, that we learned about it in school, actually, optometry school, about be careful with the patient who has a strabismus. You might create this horror fusionalis problem where they can never get single vision. I'm just going to tell you, in the 20 years that I have been a doctor and the what have I owned my own clinic for 17 almost 18 years that I've never had a case in which double vision has existed that we haven't been able to get the patient to see singly now that doesn't mean that it was easy it doesn't mean that it happened with the snap of our fingers overnight but let's talk about double vision and what that really kind of means. In a previous video that I did, I actually used this little example where I have this awesome picture. It's one of my favorites and it sits on my desk at my office. And then I just made a quick little photocopy just for purposes of showing this. And uh, whoever this person who painted this, I promise that you know, we're not doing anything weird with this copy, but it's a beautiful painting. I love it. So what happens with double vision is that you can get it kind of overlapping a little like this, right? You can also have it at diagonals. I'm not going to show you all the diagonals, right? But it can happen up and down, side to side and diagonals. And it can also happen where there's a big separation so that there's a completely different, you know, like way over here, or way over here, like this. And in those particular cases, it's typically coming from a strabismus or an eye turn where one eye is not lining up with the other. If it's side to side, that means there's, there's a horizontal misalignment issue. If it's up and down, of course, that means there's an up and down alignment issue. If it happens to be on the diagonal, there's both a horizontal and a vertical misalignment of the eye problem that's going on. And in fact, in those particular cases, it could be as a result of maybe like a stroke or nerve palsy, or it's possible that these have happened post-surgery as well. Now, what do we do about it? And are we really concerned the person would have horror fusions where we couldn't get them to be single? Like I said, in about 20 years that I've been practicing as a doctor, I've never had a case where I've just the person is like, they've just got double vision and they can't do anything about it. We are always are able to help the person get it closer together, closer together. It just takes time. Now, it may take a long time. In fact, there are some cases that they've gone through our entire program of like 45 weeks and they still are working on their double vision. But over time, it progressively is getting better and better and better. Those cases are really few and far between and there's typically a lot of things that have gone on with them, including, you know, potentially multiple surgery the surgeries that have been in their past. And so those cases are really, really difficult. But we've never had a case where we've invoked or, you know, all of a sudden like got constant double vision in someone that we weren't able to help them remediate it. So that's really not something that we should be overly concerned about. I find that to be um, mostly information that's kind of put out there as like a fear factor. Because if someone has double vision, 
Well, you're not going to make it worse by trying to treat it. You can only make it better if they've already got it. If someone has a misalignment of the eyes, there are cases that you might say like, oh, no, I don't really want to turn that vision on for that eye because of this problem, this problem, or this problem. Maybe there's such a huge discrepancy between the two eyes. So for instance, maybe one eye is farsighted and the other eye is like, so let's say it's like a plus 0 0.50, which would be just a smidge of farsightedness in one eye. And maybe the other eye is like a minus 21. You, your brain really would not ever sync up that information. So we might want to be cautious in one of those conditions. Um, there are other situations that we want to be very, very cautious in turning on vision and using two eyes together. But as long as you're going to someone who has a lot of experience with this, they're going to know exactly what to do. They'll be honest with you, hopefully, and tell you that, you know, your case is one to work with or one that we really maybe shouldn't try to work with. And then there's no fear factor of, you know, will you ever have like double vision that's just not treatable or correctable or, or improvable. That should not be the case. Now, again, realize there are really extremely difficult cases and sometimes they can take years to remediate, but you, you should always be seeing constant progress. Okay, so continual progress. We're just getting better, 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 better. And depending upon whether or not there's some sort of, you know, other issue, like a health issue that's part of the problem. So for instance, maybe like a Parkinson's disease or MS or myasthenia gravis, or um, if there's something like that that's occurred that's the maybe the true reason why the double vision exists is existing there are so many options for helping patients to be able to learn how to fuse that and have single vision you really shouldn't just have cases where it's like oh you're just double there's nothing you can do and it doesn't get any better really shouldn't have those cases again depending i can't speak for every single circumstance in this video Sure as the world, I'll say something and a person will be like, what if? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Contact our office. Let's talk about your what if. Maybe we can help. Maybe we can't, but we'll be really, really honest about it. Okay, so how do you contact us? Well, you can go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can fill out the questionnaire or you can schedule a consultation with us. And also, if you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. Tell us what's going on with you. Tell us your story. We'll tell you whether we can help you or not. If you find this video valuable, pass it on like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, but make sure you hit that bell icon for all notifications on our videos. Thank you.